Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, I have the two covers on the two Civics today. That's because today is gonna be a different video. Today we're actually gonna be working on this Mazda Miata right here. In today's video, we're gonna be putting a reverse cam on this car since you know this car doesn't have a backup camera. So we're gonna go ahead and install it on this Miata. Let's go. So this is the Miata's very first appearance on the channel. Well, you might've seen it in the background on some of my videos, but this is Buggo the Miata. It's a 1992 NA Miata. And it, there's already some things that are done to it. Uh, like obviously these lights right here, it has a little tongue and that little lip right there in the bottom. Um, but yeah, this right here is a new addition to the channel. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, of this car should I be making more videos of this car or you know is this something that is only gonna be a one-time thing so let me know down below in the comments so today we're gonna be installing a autovox uh, backup camera on this Miata right here because obviously this being a 1992 this doesn't have that you know that high-tech equipment the idea of this backup camera is you're actually just gonna put it right here below your license plate so it's just two screws uh it includes the double-sided tape as well and this is actually a wireless camera so all you got to do is just plug in the screen in here that way you have access to that reverse camera but first before we do all that we're going to do an unboxing of this product The first thing you'll see when opening the box is an instruction manual and a voucher for a free solar panel. Then we have the screen itself. It's a pretty good size. It has an antenna, three buttons on the side, and some mounting holes where you can connect your mount. Then we have an accessory box and this contains a micro USB which is used to charge the camera and the mount which we can put the screen onto. The cable which connects to your car port adapter or to power the screen. Last but not least, we have a camera that connects to the screen wirelessly. And here's all the things that we get in the box. All right guys, so we're inside of this Miata and as you can see, there's no high tech stuff in this car. Uh, it's just your basic stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the screen that this product comes with and this comes with this little suction mount where you would just mount this on somewhere around here. The first thing you're gonna do is just make sure that your dash is nice and clean. So after you clean this area up, all you gotta do, as you can see, there's like a carbon fiber like uh, material right here. So you just pull on this little tab to release the suction mount. And then you're gonna wanna measure first. So this is gonna go on like that. And you don't want it to overlap with this. So. You're just gonna make sure that it's in the perfect position. So right about right here, somewhere towards the middle. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna mount this on, push down on the latch right there, just like that. All you gotta do is just stick on your screen. So you're just gonna align these little tabs with this stuff right here. Like so. All right, so now it's gonna look like that. And now you're gonna take this cord that it comes with. It's a pretty long cord. And so the cigarette lighter or the carport charger is located right here. So we don't even have to stretch this cord out. And this actually comes with an extra USB. So if you have anything that you wanted to plug in, uh, like a charger, for example, you just plug it in right there. So that's pretty convenient. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in right here, just like that. So now that's plugged in, we can actually hide the wires down here so it won't look like a mess. Just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the camera on our license plate. All right, so the camera goes on just right on top of the license plate, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew these two screws right here. 
and then we're gonna screw them back on to be nice and secure uh, and this also comes with double-sided tape so just a little extra uh, mounting solution uh, for this camera Gonna be putting the tape on behind the camera. So, oops. So it looks like that. Not perfect, but that'll do. All right, so we're gonna be sticking this on on your license plate so now we have the double-sided tape uh, on the back of the camera uh, and make sure the the two holes are exposed that way you can um, put this license plate back on so if you have a cover you can also put the cover back on as well so now it's gonna look like this and we're just gonna install it back on done and that's it and just adjust this camera now this being wireless uh, you do have to charge this now the full charge of the battery lasts about 75 days and this does come with a solar panel uh, unfortunately we do not have that uh, at the moment but to charge this camera there is actually a little micro USB port right here on this side so all you gotta do is just take this cover off plugs in just like that and if you and if you have like a longer cable that'll help as well but looks like that when you're charging it and when you're done make sure you unplug it and put this back on because you don't want to get water in this so make sure it's nice and tight like that and that's it you're done make sure to take off this plastic by the way boom now we're back inside of the Miata and since we already installed the camera, we're going to go ahead and test it out, see if this actually works and see if this is actual truly wireless uh, camera. So we're going to go ahead and start the car. So now we turned on the car and this is upside down for some reason. So there's actually buttons on the side and we're going to go ahead and adjust this. So we're going to go over here, MU control. And we're gonna do upside down, just like that. So now it's the right side up. This actually has its own timer. So whenever you wanna back up, it has like a 45 second timer. You can adjust it up to 60 seconds, uh, depending on your preference. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So now we can reverse. just like a regular camera that you would have on your car except there's a timer so like I said earlier like I said earlier this has a 45 second timer so the screen will go blank and if you want the screen to turn on again just press anywhere on the screen and then this will go on for another 45 seconds so if you want to go forward then that screen would still be on because like I said like I said it has a 45 second timer so we're gonna go ahead and move forward a little bit and that's that it works it's it's a really helpful tool really helpful accessory especially if your car does not have a uh, backup camera
Cool. And now it's time for subscriber builds. Will I show off your builds on my video? And our first build for today is... Our first build for today is from Jude and she says, Hey there Chris, my name is Jude and this is my 2021 Sport Hatch build. I just got this for my 17th birthday and you've done so much help inspire the little things I've done so far. Those include blacking out all my badging and black plastic, tinting all my windows, removing the two dealership stickers from the back of the car, and purchasing a duckbill spoiler from Amazon. Love all the hard work and I can't wait to see what else you have planned. Next is Mr. Silva's build and he says, here's my build so far, 2021 Sport Hatch. Finally, we have a build from Caesar and he says, hey Chris, my name is Caesar. I stay in Panorama City, California and been watching you since you got your car. This is my build, a 2021 Civic Hatchback Sport on MB battle rims with smoke side markers, PRL cold air intake, Mugen Racing front pipe and Gretti Supreme SP catback exhaust. Still got a PRL catless downpipe coming and a PRL intercooler and K-Tuner. Thanks for your videos on your car. I appreciate it, brother. If you want your build to be featured on my channel, send me an email at christimefk7 at gmail.com so that your build can be featured on my next video. All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video because I do read comments on the daily and I do try to respond to each and every one of you. So this AutoVox wireless backup camera is a really helpful tool, especially if you have a car that doesn't have a backup camera. Uh, because this truly is wireless and it's an easy installation. So I highly recommend this product. You can plug in up to four cameras so that you can have four cameras monitoring your car. So if you're a new driver and you're just starting to learn how to drive, this will really help you uh, because if you have a new car or even a car like this, a Miata, then these cameras would actually help you. Uh, it'll guide you and it'll help you maneuver around, uh, preventing you from hitting any uh, obstacles or objects so I highly recommend getting this product uh, anyways that about wraps up this video be sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more videos of this Miata comment down below because I want to know your feedback uh, let me know what you guys think should I be making more videos of this Miata or should I just stick to uh, making Honda videos thank you all for watching this is Chris time FK7 and peace out